Previously on Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Episode 2, Taken. New York City, three years ago. Okay. Exposition. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How hey. are you? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. I know. That's why I'm grabbing the thermos. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go oh, this was before I made my book, it looks like. Oh, is that me? <laughs> I look so much more different in that. Also, I'm not, I don't have like a beard growing right now. How old am I? I gotta be in at least my 30s, right? Go, the book. Return to sender, but I can't forget. Alex Casey, the things that I want. The fall of Casey. Pick up manuscript page. Let's go. So I guess now we'll have like chapter two, huh? Yeah. So I missed some from the first one. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake, thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red, a gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city becoming one with it I can see them now my wife and my baby honey I'm home that was the sudden stop I guess that's is that one of the books maybe that's what I'm writing right now I don't know it's like a different narrator too so I assume it's different book or something. This is a nice apartment though. Very nice. Oh, there's like a snowstorm going on outside though. I want more like city horror games. I feel like not enough games take place in like a city setting. Like Cry of Fear, I've been wanting to play Cry of Fear. So I don't think I've ever like completely finished it, but you know, like that takes place in like a city, kind of. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter. I wonder how much this apartment costs. Rent's probably crazy. Alright. Go. Is that a TV? Where are we gonna put that? Right there, I assume. That'll be nice. Oh, this place is so cool. Can't go outside though. Probably a good idea. I don't want to get snow inside. Probably track under me. Coffee time. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh, okay. Lots of work making a cover, huh? Mockups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. So sweet. All right, let's just take a look. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The oh, last we're all good friends. The last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh, shit. Alan, please check the fuse box. Oh, yeah. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Uh, please hurry! Shit, shit, shit. Come on. 
Yes. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. There you okay. go. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Ooh. I know, it's stupid. Break out the candles, it's huh? Just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. Look at how romantic this is. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, sure. writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Where it falls, the present day. Nice little piece of music there, too. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I feel great. I'm okay. My head's fine. <laughs> I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. Pain gets any worse, or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it. Mm, cool man. Sarah, uh, I'll Sarah 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 is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife. I was about to say, have I even mentioned my wife to anyone? Wilson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I don't think there's anything I can actually get in here. Oh man, I have the urge to explore so bad right now. Oh, read. Thank you for testing Missing. Me. Richard Bow, Bruce Dang, Steve, Jacob Miller. On a camping trip overdue, I haven't been in contact. Have you seen them or their whereabouts? Call 555-9932. I'll pick a screenshot just in case. Maybe I can have something cool with that. Oh, wait. I've seen this man disappeared on 6 2007. Identifying features, knack for winning contests. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone oh shit. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Was dead. It's I'm, charged now. I'm checking out other shit. Hold on. I didn't mean to go there. I wasn't paying attention to like which place I had to go to. I thought I'd like actually leave the building. School bus? They got everything here. Mr. Wake? Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. Yeah, I know, Alan. Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper. Yeah, it's a Mulligan here. I'm at the gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Now let's read this. Alice is a shadow. Look through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. So... Hmm. Let me... Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was... Okay, so I did write about the cabin. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal oh, today. Oh, about Stucky. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. True. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Interesting. Okay. Um. Take it that way. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Hold on, I have to touch everything back here, if you don't mind. But I'm trustworthy. 
Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. Hmm, nice missing poster. Okay, um... Hello, I'd like to grab away? my cell phone. Yes. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Oh, who could it be? Hello? The end of the story. Please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Oh, I was right. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually Go to the back have a villain. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. I couldn't go anywhere yet. Wake? I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let You're anybody welcome. tell you different. Don't worry, man. I understand. The dark presence in the diner. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Mm -hmm. I want to get this. And listen to this. Well, folks, it's been another long night and uh, it's about time for me to sign off. One more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. We're in a small town, there's a lot of problems. People going missing. Young men who are celebrating their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party. And leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? True. No point in getting all worked up yet. Is that all? Alright, uh... Kick it. Whoa, okay. Mr. Resident Evil over here. Sorry, I keep comparing this to Resident Evil. ...had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Oh, I didn't see that yet. But I didn't see this page. Wake at lover's The speed. kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I wonder if this will be foretelling something. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Excuse me, Sheriff. You're still alive, right? Okay. What? The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark, 
Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the Us. damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently hey, caused on their... Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I and need I can to know leave. where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? Wait, what? I, I thought that... Her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey. oh what the hey. fuck? Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? Barry? I'm Barry Wheeler, his <laughs> agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Okay. Wake. My offer still stands. Why do I even do that? <laughs> What's that for? Me and your wife what are discussed. What the hell was that about, what? Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I hey, I was just talking more. about that last episode. I had to talk. Or maybe to this episode. I, I don't know how I'm doing this yet. Thing. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute oh, opposite of good. It's Lover's Peak, this Mr. place? Ray. Was that what he said earlier? Larry, you Hello, found Rose. Him. I rose. Oh, no. Wow, okay. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? Well, this is as good as mine. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. I'm assuming we're talking about Rose. But, um... Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Bush call me Al. <laughs> anyway, I'm eating microwave fucking pancakes right now. Normally I don't eat this shit unless I'm really hungry. Yeah, I started eating some, like, maybe, like, about a month ago. A little bit less, maybe. Dude. What, I'm just a little shot hooked. a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Excuse no. me. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. All right, but get it, because I'm a writer. using fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. I like the idea of a funny farm. I imagine it'd be very humorous. Hello. Easy there, boy. I'm almost ah. done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Aww. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. I'm assuming Bucktooth Charlie. Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta Who else is to going to? She's my wife, and it's my call. I was not going to do anything. Later? Ooh, meds? No, not allowed. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Sign the form? What am I signing for? Do I even know? Thanks, Barry, but um, I'm busy right now. Here you go. This is the form you wanted. <laughs> and here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. 
Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. <laughs> it's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. I hope you can't hear me eating. I'd be very if embarrassing. If you trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. That's pretty far. Okay, wait. I get keys to the car. You're okay. asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. Okay, yeah, I get it. I'm crazy. Wearing white shirt. That's just crazy talk, Al. He's still going off. Oh my God. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a goddamn <laughs> debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. Just you leave me here, alone. And if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. I have a feeling that's going to happen. Oh, bless you. Just be careful with or the natives, sick. Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Also, it seems like I lost my batteries. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here. Spores, poison ivy. God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Real funny, Al. Real funny. Ha ha. Thank you. I'll just sit here in the dark till you come back. Or until I get eaten by a Gru. A Gru? What's a Gru? Despicable me. Anyway, sorry. Let's get out of here. So, um... Where the hell am I? Compared to everything else. Lover's Peak. Is there a radio tower right here? Jeez, I'm confused. Wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Walk through the door now. Ah, yeah, we get it. You're scared too. What a wuss. Maybe screw up. Let's see what this has to say. Very doubts wake sanity. Really had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. That is really scary, that man. I mean, to see your friend like kind of just go crazy over time, especially when he's supposed to be like on vacation. Not to say that I am crazy, maybe this really is just stuff that, you know. Supernatural, but uh, you know, we haven't really played much of the game yet to find out. Let's uh, keep trudging on. Should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. All right, let's check out this cabin. Whatever that was, they flew away fast compared to some of these other birds. Come on, chimes. Yay. So nice. So serene. Oh, revolving ammo. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we lost all of our stuff. No fair. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, oh. our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear Hello. Studio. Bye. What's your dear fest plan like? Plan? You make it sound a on the lights, there we go. I'm a lot more safe now. Hee <laughs> hee, love the wind chimes. Alright. I'm gonna take a swing maybe. Oh, how ominous. Oh, drop hazard. Ah, and then I die. Bad end. Dude, that would suck. What is going on? Oh. I'm getting a vision. Freaking the fuck out. 
Maybe I should like break dance and that'll scare away every um bad guy within a specific vicinity. Dude, I I'll be like dancing at work sometimes, unironically. Because recently I've just been going to work using um like uh, wireless headphones and it is a game changer. I don't know why I never used headphones in my first year of working. But I'm just being able to have something to listen to while I'm like doing shit, man. It's such a game changer. Like, just my sanity. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like, if your job will allow you to do it, please just bring headphones and listen to like a podcast or maybe a YouTube you like to watch or Crime and music. The cancer and cure All right. I don't really have time for this, so. These birds aren't gonna fuck with me, are they? They stay over there. They're like fighting each other. I don't want to miss any manuscript pages if I can help it, but you know it is what it is. Right, let's check up what's up here. Do not feed wildlife. One hundred dollar penalty. Drop hazard. I do have a manuscript page up here. What is it this time? Oops. Is it Rose and Rusty? Yep. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Hey, what was that? Find this pitch in nightmare difficulty mode. Ah, uh, so they're locked. Okay. You know, I imagine that was there before and I could have read it or noticed it, but um, I'm just silly. Hey, yo, what's the car got for me? Rusty the dying. The visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Shh, Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. What if one of these pages we guys just like, Alan Wake dies? It's so sad. Whatever will I do? Sorry. I gotta think of something to say while I was drinking my very, very lukewarm Dr. Pepper. Ow, my ears. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. What is going on? Am I shooting? We gotta get in there. Uh-oh. Where you at? It's like gunshots? Who's sh who are you in a firefight with? Can you hear me? Hey, yes. Please, help. Hello? Back here. I'm back here. God damn. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, I don't know. Just the way it was on that page. I found came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. This dude is dead when we come back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Oh, the trash can's knocked over. Can we open this now? No. I suppose there is no, like, general healing stuff in this game, because, you know, you can hide under the light and get, um, get health. That's how it works, right? I don't think there's anything right here now. Is this the office? Which one of these? Is that next door? Oh, that's next door. Sorry, I'm forgetting that there's even, like, a HUD that tells me where to go. 
That's just someone to miss anything. Sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. We know that ain't true. Let's go. We got our trusty revolver though, in case something goes awry. Which I'm sure it will. Excuse me. All right, let's check out what this has to say about our little predicament. Wake reaches a safe haven of the light. last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Cool. I guess that'll be for later. It'll be a cutscene, I imagine. Maybe a QTE. Gracias. Gracias. I don't have to use anything just yet. I was too late. Someone oh no. Destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. I gotta get back to Rusty. No. Bro is fucked. Hunters need hunting licenses. Ooh, gotta reload quick. Anyone else in here? What's Rusty doing? Better just leave him. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Oh shit! The dog's gone too. Who said that? Fishing. Oh no. Oh, he's quick. Rusty, no. Bro is like the flash. Calm down, my guy. Stop! Stand still. Where are you going, dude? It is oh my god. Hey, what? Oh, is he? Christ, dude. Okay, I'm about to just shoot you. You get on my nerves. Damn it, he's gonna get away. Or not. Defy the park ranger. Yeah, he almost got me there for sure. Ooh. A regular bad guy spell. Uh oh. Ain't gonna do anything. And law on ammo though. Let's see if there's something here that can aid us in this new predicament. Wow! Who could have known? Let's keep on trudging. I wonder when we'll see Alice again. Oh my god, the screen shake is terrible. Okay, can I lower that? I'm sorry, it is it is bad. Green shake. Um, I'm starting to think I can't change that. Oh well. Let's keep on going. Hey, it's the light. Very nice, very nice. Oh, the cell phone. Yeah, dude, I know. I'm Forget telling you. It's just me going crazy. Right. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. 
Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. That dude is so dead. My poor friend, you just wanted to help me out. He's so fucked. Oh wait, I don't want to go down there just yet. We gotta see what's going on all the way over here. Manuscript and batteries. Maybe. Whatever that is. No, no, it's like... Beer. Rusty's final thoughts. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. Jesus. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. So sad. Unfortunately, we don't really know these characters too well. So. Jakers, I guess. Alright, let's go to Lover's Peak, as some would say. Um. It's supposed to be next to the radio tower over there, right? So we still have like a decent bit to go. This makes sense. We haven't really played much of chapter two to be honest. Far end of the nature trail. Entering Moonshine Cave. Sounds nice. No, I don't really drink alcohol, but um I'm sure someone would enjoy this cave. Yeah, let's speed things up a little bit. It's getting kind of slow. Site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the prohibition. This cave was part of the frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity throughout the prohibition. It was mostly used for temporary storage of the alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premises. Interesting little fact in the lower building. Can we actually get some of the alcohol? <gasps> no, but we can get whatever this is. Yes! Perfect. Lithium batteries. Find his keepers, discover five chests. That's so great. That's so nice and wholesome. Let's get out of here. Do not feed wildlife. One hundred dollar penalty. Not sad. Little preserves like this. At my place. Oh damn. Ow. Oh shit, hello you. Ow. Oh, this is not good. No bueno. Oh, almost didn't live through that. That was close. So how does healing work? Do I just heal to full over time? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. The dodging mechanic is still kind of weird to me. But, um, it also just starts making you sprint, so it's kind of wonky. I don't know. I wonder if that's better in the second game. I keep thinking about the second game just because it looks really nice and everything. But, um... You know, I just kind of want to play it, but, you know, I feel like it makes sense to be playing this game first. You know, assuming, I'd assume that it's important to play this one, considering that, um, the character is Alan Wake. Nobody Barry meets Rose. Nobody seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. So Barry's been... Uh, Rose is a, uh... It's a player, I guess. She hasn't really even done anything, but... People got eyes for her. Uh, I wonder if this car is gonna have something for me. Looks like it. Uh oh. Looks like I might have something else to deal with right now. Where are they at though? On my left? On my right? 
behind me. Or maybe it's just the environment. Maybe there's nothing I actually have to worry about. The great old one. Hello. I see you back there too. I was shooting you in the hat, but that's not going to help me at all because you're shit on. Ooh, okay. We got it down. Okay, so it is. That is how it works. Okay. Um. Ow. Let's I think we might have to run because uh, I'm a little out of ammo. Oh no. Out. Maybe I can. I got one of them at least. Out. Shit. If we can make it to Lover Speak, maybe we can live. Oh. <laughs> you suck, dude. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> God damn it. How does this. Sh how does that work? Okay. Stay focused. Where's the other guy at? There he is. Okay. So I think I need to actually weaken them first with a flashlight. That's probably what the game already told me, but you know, whatever. Built by lightning at 1937. This exceptionally tall, rocky mountain, Douglas fir, was over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars. After it fell, it was measured to be 66 meters tall. Nearly a record length. Hip hip hooray. Motor vehicles prohibited. Oh, there are more of them. Oh, that's a lot of them. What? No bueno. Okay, which one of you is gonna throw something at me? Ow. I'm dodging into them. Motherfucker, leave me alone, dude. Get his ass. Can't reload. Oh, those are my last three bullets. Okay. Got a little bit of my shotgun left, but not much. Are we there yet? Ah, great. Open this quick. Dodging that, whatever. What does this have to say? Wake sees the torch symbol. Afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Someone else is going through the same thing, huh? Could be Alice? Dude, is this what Alice has been dealing with the entire time with her phobia? Do anything like this? Oh, could I have used this to, like, keep them away from me? I don't know. I probably could have used that to keep them away. Okay, um... Yeah, maybe Alice has been doing this the entire time. She's quite literally just been, like, 
killing monsters and stuff in the dark while I'm away and... I don't know, I'm just making shit up at this point. Bear alert. Bear alert. Uh-oh, music's changed. Shadow bear? This looks like a spot for a boss. Oh. Okay. It's getting foggy. Gosh darn it. Two of them. Three of them, actually. Whoa, dude. Fuck. Oh, no. Um. Um. Oh, I dodged that. There's so many of them. What do I do? Are you joking me? Excuse me? What was that? Um, okay. Well, there's no more loot for me to find over here, so... You know, I feel like I might be a little shit out of luck. Dude, it takes me at least three bullets to kill one. And there's like five of them in one spot. Okay, I guess I'll stay back a little, maybe. Maybe that'll help. Damn, though, dude. Let's run this way. That one died really quick, actually. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, shit. He's charging. They warned me about that. Oh. Look at that, huh? Oh, okay. Never mind. Now I'm out of ammo. Like, what do I actually do? So they're just gonna chase me to the end of the fucking earth. Run. Mr. Wake! Ow. Ooh. Oh, they're stupid. They're actually just dumb. I'll chase you to the end of the earth! to get out of the way. I don't have anything. I'm useless right now. The gondola. There's a, um... There's a story I heard about these types of things. The gondolas. Um... Sorry. Okay. Um... <laughs> There was like someone on a gondola in like, I don't know, Alaska maybe, or maybe it was like Russia. Um, and the actual like line of the gondola got hit by a jet or a plane from the military or something. And it ended up killing everyone inside. Kind of like what's about to happen to me. Get out, dude. Oh. <gasps> the shadow people. They were waiting for me. It was a trap. I should have known. Aw, oh, shit. Yo. Who the fuck are you? Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. So hey, look, we knew someone was gonna have our back. That flashlight's kid stuff. I agree. The flares will keep the bastards away. Trust me, dude, I know. You aren't the only person I've... 
You can All see right. them too. Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> Why? Because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It's oh, I really lost my gun. Then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this hey, was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, wake. You better keep up. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, dude, turn around. Get him. Get his ass. Oh, this is so bougie. Sorry, I'm out of battery. Oh, damn. These guys are so lame. You think about it. Excuse me. Oh, look at how dumb they are. Take a couple more flares. Um. I don't think we're supposed to go this way. Oh. I am. Um, probably supposed to kill them all. Are you ready to go now? Can you finish them off, please? Thank you. Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me okay. the gun. Yeah. No can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. He knows our situation. Look at all these freaks. Oh, they're stupid. They don't know yet. Okay. Guy just does not care. Dude, what do you think I've been doing? I've been doing this before I even met you. Like centuries even. Sweep. Monk. Oh, that was quick. Let's go. Move it or lose it. Dude, you need to move it or lose it. What are you? Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Alright, bro. Chill out. I have my wife back, please. I kinda miss her. I've been looking for her this entire time. Okay, something's happening here. Alright, no way, it's over there. Er. I don't know. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program. Wait, there's a, there's a, there's a flask. Why am I defending this? How is this gonna help at all? Dude, they were both stunned there. You had them. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh, wait, okay. I thought they were gonna start chop. Oh, goddamn. Okay, chill. You better help me out here. This one right here? Thank you. I should fuck her off. He's a tank, Wake. I just stay right here. I'm probably safe forever, right? I don't see why not. Um. Oh, move! What am I doing? There's a pretty big guy right there. There's a farm some right here. <laughs> nice aimbot. Get the big guy, please. Oh my god, he sucks at aiming. Monster. See? Nothing to it. 
see nothing to it. So I over here. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What are you, my critic? What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> what was that, dude? You touch her and I'll kill you as I kill him. Well, if he's knocked out, we can get my gun back. Back to square one. Voice acting, hey, dude. Alice. Keep it up. He wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power, but I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Poor Barry is fucked, considering what we just went through, and he's alone with no weapons. Alice is fearful. On dark. more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. We morphed into one. That's my new running theory. Me and Alice are the same person, and, um... Oh, I do just get across already. It's so scary. I'd kill myself if I was in this situation in real life. Fucking walking across this shit and it's like... Oh. But, um... Yeah, we're the same person. Um, I never had a wife. I never even wrote a book, actually, either. Um, okay. There's gotta be something over here. The bear trap? these traps I wouldn't want to get caught in one of them those teeth look nasty agreed that's actually gonna fuck me up I bet are they always gonna be glowing or do I actually have to like look out for them hmm. so curious I do even really have bear traps out here though like what is there to what is there to defend really isn't this a park? I guess that would make sense why, but... If someone wants to explore out and... They end up falling into one, what do they do? Just sit in the floor and die and wait for the bear that was meant for the trap to come and eat them? Oh, shit! Okay. Did you did really have to spawn in front of me, too? That scared the shit out of me, though. Wow. Whew. All right, there's a handful of them. You're thinking there's something, dude. Oh my god. Okay, that's fun. Let me fucking watch my every step. Dude, I can barely see some of these as they are. Okay. We're getting there. Just careful. Also, how are you used to some of those traps? You fucking place them all around like that, dude. Oh my god. Right here, at least. Thank God. The tree falls. We drown and we die, and we never see our wife again. Give me a cross, please. All right, keep an eye out. I'm sure, there's gonna be a freaking million of them. The bugs.
shit. Okay. That was good. Pretty good there. Oh no. I hate when this happens. It makes it especially hard to see if there's bear traps on the ground. What the fuck? One more? Thank you. Oh, I made that noise. It's freaking me out, though. Is there anyone up here? Perhaps a trap. I should be aware of. Not looking for side loot, really, so. I hope it won't be completely necessary. Got a good bit of ammo still. I think we'll be fine. And we got flares if we really need a little bit of extra help. We just had to get the combat down. God damn it. Looks like I hear something, dude. Got him at that last second. That was close. Okay, that's a that should be loot here. Let's turn on the lights first. Oops. We live for the checkpoints. Give me that. Yum. See a manuscript. Chuck on. Oh, hunting rifle. That's new. Probably big damage, low fire rate. Wait, here's a chainsaw. Oh, it's so over. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Missed a couple of pages. But it is what it is. Ooh. Looking for just the thing. I don't have many batteries though, you know. Um. Excuse me? A plane? I'm just gonna grab this real quick, I hope. Is that hope I'm not gonna bother anyone. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here. It was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Oh, that's what that sound was. Okay, I can push away the darkness. That's cool. Get out of here. Oh boy. There's nothing here. Oh, okay, it's okay. I can just kidnap her if you're leaving me this stuff, maybe? I don't know. I'm just leaving me this. Is that a voice crack? I hope not. Hmm. Chainsaw time. Hey, look at this place, dude. Where's he at? Oh my gosh. Person. Like that's the head and that's like the limbs. Like, like a big tree person picking the fuck out. Oh 
I thought. I thought it was worth something. Ow. Okay, it saves. Uh oh. It saves that battery, like, what percentage when you get off of them, which is good because I thought any time I, like, turn the light off of somebody, it would, like, decrease it and I'd have to restart from the beginning, basically. Alright. Another checkpoint. Her pip hooray. I never really went this far into this much trouble. I don't know, both of our lives at risk right now, dude. Oh, shit. Bro, really? <laughs> I thought we were gonna die. Okay. Get out of here. No one likes you. Um, I'll have a rainbow. Oh, again. Oh, that dust. Like I'm at work all over again, dude. Oh, remind me. Alright. I gotta reach the top of the mill, so let's check out what's in here. Anything we can loot or maybe a manuscript? I would imagine a manuscript. Oh wow. Here's how smart I am. Find 25 manuscript pages. Deputies at the logging site. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Weird. I this is like all a dream. Sorry, I really don't know what to think of this game just yet, so I'm kind of just like running around really silly theories in my head. I don't know if I believe any of them, per se, but... You know what I mean. I'm just along for the ride, taking it at face value. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Very an elder way. Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center. It made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot? They hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed. Like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised. Just terrified. True. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get to Barry, right? I don't know why I'm getting back to Barry because he's not gonna help me find my wife per se, but... You know what? Do what we gotta do. Let's just get this coffee thermos. It's the only thing keeping me up right now, man. I'd be falling asleep if it wasn't for all this crud. How do I get up from here? Oh. Really me? The ladder, of course. No chainsaw, man. Okay. I think I'll get rid of the black sludge, the nightmare sludge, before I do anything else. I don't really know if it'll benefit me at all. Be the good ending? Nah, it's probably just something that'll hurt me if I don't get rid of it. The darkness wears her face. Oh no. Whatever will I do? That was tough. What's going on in here? Excuse me, excuse me. Hunting rifle ammo. I'll take it. I haven't really used any flares yet either. I'm just waiting for the moment. I feel like I'll have to. I should probably just start using them too though because I know it'll just 
put me in the next thing and use up all my shit. How do I get past here? Oh, it's too late. That's uh Up and at him. Bad guys here? No. Revolver ammo. Yoink. Energizer. This is a big ad for Energizer. It's a big old marketing ploy for Energizer batteries. That's what the whole point of Alan Week was. Second game, not so much. They rebranded. Um. Okay. Oh no. Big scary guys. Really big and scary. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, I see light. The light. The promise of safety. Darkest Dungeon. If you didn't know, it's a Darkest Dungeon quote. Really like Darkest Dungeon. I think it's a pretty good roguelite. Probably one of my favorites, to be honest. I just like the aesthetic, the style. The difficulty is fun, but um, also a little unfair sometimes. But you know what? Life isn't fair. I don't make can tell you all about it. There's a whole video game. And these trees are weak. Oh, here he is. We've been looking for you, dude. Oh, and your goonies are here. Yoink. Oh, he's got yellow. I don't really know what that means. He's extra evil, I guess. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. That was super easy. <laughs> well, might as well not even fucking come over. Oh my god. There, I was checking on my spit. <clears throat> Ugh. I don't want to do that, man. Sometimes I'll do that when I'm like really sick. I don't know why. It's like really easy for me to choke on my spit. And if I'm in public, dude, it is so miserable because my eyes start watering and I look like I started fucking pulling my eyes out for no reason. Oh my god, when I was at orientation for um, university, I did that and it was like really embarrassing. I mean, I don't think anyone was like looking at me because we were like watching a presentation and shit, but oh my god, it's the worst. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Barry. My guy. I'm here. I return. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin. I'm not least, here. I was you know what? Woods. I'm close. Probably should have guessed considering that there's like trailers right here. But. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. That's true, I didn't think about that. Cars? You fucking win the game. Manuscript. Nightingale, the fire is at work. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leap for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Everyone is my enemy right about now, huh? My flame out. Someone in here. Freaking me out. Where are the urinals? 
What's over here? Oh, wait, we were in the women's restroom, that's why. No, they don't have urinals here either. Garage keys. Look at me, huh? A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. I'd be ashamed. Damn, bro. Oh. You got me good. I was kind of expecting that, considering that I had to pick up an item. Is there gonna be someone right before here? Huh. Hmm. Chainsaw Man? Not the show. Also, why is it Chainsaw Man? Isn't Denji like freaking 16, 17 years old? Oh, actual driving mechanics. Oh, this guy's so dumb. Oh, you're so useless, dude. Is he dead? No, not yet. Dude, you're gonna fucking get it. <laughs> I'm so evil. Oh, wait, can I get out? I can get out too! There's gonna be loot and shit I have to get. You ink? Oh, the bad guys are catching up to me. Whatever will I do? They're so dumb. They're actually stupid. I'm gonna get you. You know, I'm pretty anti-car. But, um... Maybe not so much anymore. There's no one around here. What is this for? Is this just for fun? No loot. Sorry, babe. That guy's just spawned in front of me. It's kind of fun. Fuck you. Ah. Oh, what's going on over there? Oops. I hope I don't mind that I'm driving their car for right now. Is this kind of the checkpoint? Yes, sir. A hunting rifle? It's a cute little section though. Oh. 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 <laughs> Hope I'm not like actually gonna die if I like uh get stuff too much. What do we got? That just gonna take my car. No misunderstanding. Cauldron Lake was where Alice and I had stayed. But there was no cabin. And no island. I was missing a week. What had happened to me? What had happened to Alice? I had to get her back. I couldn't face life without her. Anything cool here? No. Yeah. Oh, I took a detour. I'm home. This is it where I need to be. Yeah. There's gotta be. There's gotta be something new. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, if there's nothing new, I'll cut back to getting on that road. Oh, there's quite literally a manuscript page here, though. Hold on, dude. Rusty attack by the Dark Presence. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. 
Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Who isn't? Right here, I guess. Ow, okay, the fuck? There's so many of them. Oh my God. They do not want me finding that. Fucking assholes. Fucking poor little ninjas coming to get me. I say this is the stop. We're not that way though, there's no more music. Oh. Barry. Oh, shit, we gotta hurry. Get in there. Oh, hoo -hoo. Barry. It was the kidnapper. Ah, oh, not you Barry. Son of a bitch. Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't. What are you gonna listen, do with her? Listen, I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Get me. This is very silly. Um, there's a couple of birds, Mr. Wake. Perhaps we should get ready. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Ah. Didn't seem to do much. The darkness controls the taken. Really now. How intriguing. I saw nothing in here. Save Barry from the birds. I'm coming, Barry. Like there's loot over here though. Yeah, you'd be right. First. Hope they don't mind I open this up real quick. Defeat the birds. They're kind of stupid. Excuse me. I can't even see you fuckers. There's like two groups here and it's really pissing me off. Seats from existence, Barry. Very good. Hey, Al. I'm. I'm. A psychotic episode, man. Hey, you're good. Let me just make sure you're not crazy. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something, anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. Ladder's block. <laughs> me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, 
It was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. You know, I don't think you're in the right environment for writing a book. But I understand. Your wife's in danger, you know? Mary Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? Oh, Rose. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Oh, man, she sounds enthusiastic. I wonder if something's wrong. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Old Year Diner. Good girl. Oh, look at that. 